Growing up, we had such powerful and strong women role models in our life. They've shaped us into who we are today and taught us to dream big. Betsy and Emily have always had a creative streak. I think that goes back to my mom, Ginny. She could knit Argyle socks in a dark movie theater. <laughs> Who does that? Ginny. Growing up as a military family, we've always been close. When I graduated, I served in the U.S. Army as an intelligence officer. This is what we call a proud parent moment. Oh. I remember a conversation I had with a soldier who had just returned from Afghanistan. He was really concerned about what his job prospects would look like, but that really stuck with me. We knew we wanted to give back to the military community that raised us. So we did that by founding Sword and Plow, a veteran and women-owned fashion company. We incorporate repurposed military surplus into our designs and support veteran jobs across the country through our veteran-owned manufacturing partners to our brand ambassador program and our own team. Our mom, being the most creative person that we know, definitely was an inspiration for Sword and Plow. She even made our first prototype out of shelter half tent and really cool leather. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I did make the first prototype. That was pretty exciting. That's when the real work started. 95% of Sword and Plow sales are online and tools like Google Ads and Google Analytics have been so helpful to us. Without those tools, I don't really know where we'd be. Maybe we could play around with a different color for special. Sword and Plow has grown a lot. We started with three products and now we've shipped thousands all around the world. I think what we're doing is bigger than I know I ever could have dreamed when we were little. We've grown up with such incredible women role models. We want to serve as role models for future women entrepreneurs as well. When women lift up other women, incredible things happen. I love that. Yeah.